All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm out here with the infamous Stanley the Dirt Monkey Genetic. Hey, guys. Is that how you say it? Genetic? Yeah, that's or genetic. the right way. Genetic or genetic? Genetic. Yep. Genetic. Yep. Stanley's been in the industry for many years, you guys. I mean, this stuff's laughable, small to him, but it's still interesting. But what we're talking about today, Stan, is the new trailer that we got from Night Equipment and PJ Trailers, right? First thing I want to say is there's no equipment that makes you money that's laughable. Anything that brings a dollar bill in is good in my book. That's all right, all cool. Well, this doesn't make me money, though, unfortunately. The PJ Trailer could. No, I mean, it's for person. <laughs> because <laughs> they haul a lot of stuff around but i get what you're saying right yep, i yep. get what you're saying yep so you guys what we have here is a 10 000 pound utility trailer you guys two 5 000 pound axles on the front and back here dexter axles um pretty heavy duty axles you know you know you are limited by the t the load rating of the tires so even right. though you may have a 5 000 pound axle if your tire isn't rated for it you got whatever the whatever the, tire the weakest says. link in the entire system is right your rating goes to. i mean for me personally i don't tow that much over 10 000 pounds i doubt i ever will with this trailer like right now i just have this compact tractor and this utv on it um, but you guys may have seen our earlier video where we went through these and this is the one I chose Stan There's a few options that it has that it doesn't have um, One of the options that I kind of miss but for this scenario was good was the rear gate, right? Yes so on this one right here, it does not have a rear gate. It has ramps that slide out the back. Traditionally on trailers though, they're gonna come out the side. But Stanley will show you right now. No, I, I, yeah, I've seen them on the back just like this. Yeah, but not often. I mean, usually they're from the side. So, heavy ramps too. Yeah, heavy duty ramps. So now the cool thing is, if I had that trailer, I wouldn't be able to fit this load on here because the uh, that would be hitting it. Back yeah. Well, you could. It, possibly turn it you know but finagle it but anyways that's why i went with this load uh with no gate on the back and also the advantage of a gate is obviously quick up and down but the pjs also have the uh the stands built into there what do you think about them the stands yeah. i mean they're necessary they are needed but i wish they were faster they are yeah so can i show them the stands yeah they're kind of slow let's just show them pull a pin rotate it around Put the pin back in. I wish there was a pin here. You could drop that jack leg down. There isn't. So now you can just go like this. Right. So that's the only thing. And you could probably get jacks on there to do it. They're just held in by, held in by pins. So if you wanted to search a different jack or something like that. Now the, the advantage of doing this, you guys, is that when the load comes off and puts weight here, it doesn't lift up the tongue. In a scenario like this, we're pretty flat, so not much would happen. Oh, it'll still lift up. It'll you, still lift up, but if we were on, a, on, a, on an angle, I mean, we could risk the truck rolling. No, what I'm saying is, if you didn't have these jacks, she definitely would lift up no matter what you were doing. So these jacks, I noticed, this is my first time using jacks like this in the back of a trailer. Right. She didn't budge your truck. It's but a safety thing, right? Oh, for sure. It's a little yeah. extra, you guys, to do. Again, if you got a back ramp from PJ with the supports in, you wouldn't have to do this. But we've seen videos that when you do put weight on here with no jacks, if that lifts up and your hitch comes up, your truck literally, rear wheels could be off the ground. That's where your parking mechanism is, and you could roll down the hill, right? Um, why Stanley's doing that? Also, I just want to go over a couple things real fast. Is the paint powder coated? Do yes, you know? the paint is powder coated. You can get it in most any color. Is it baked on? Uh, I don't know Stanley, but I know they have one of the best powder coatings out there because we added 2013 and we beat it and left it outside and went through salt and dude it looked brand new when we sold it. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, I did smash it up here you guys, but the great thing is here you can just replace these fenders, you know? I did get a, the light a little bit. That was my fault. This being 22 feet long, uh, it's really hard to see the very back back there so you have to be careful. I do recommend a spotter, right? Um, right here, we can put a spare tire on it. Right there, we have all uh, access to all of our little um, straps and whatnot, and it is lockable. Yes, and I did bend that. Did you bend that too? Yeah, you know How'd how? You do that? Well, because I overfilled it and then it wouldn't just shut. Throwing and I, stuff yeah. in. So I could just get a new one of those. It's no big deal. But the beauty of the PJ is, check this out. So now there's room for my gate, right? So I mean, wow, you can't open your gate. Oh yeah, that's close though, man. Wow. But yeah, that's close. But here we have tons of room, so it's all good. Uh, Heavy-duty jack on the front. 
I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this. You know what I'm going to do to the deck, though? Get it Linexed. The deck? Yeah, I did it to our old one, dude. It was awesome. It just adds grippy. It just makes oh, it grippier. Oh, man. I bet that's kind of amazing. Yeah. Especially on the steel, because in the steel, when it gets wet, it gets slippery. So. Are you going to Linex the wood, too? Yeah. Yeah, we did the old one, dude. The it's, whole, the wood, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The that boys would, at Lion X will be smart idea. Yeah. The boys at Lion X will be taking care of that. So trailer brakes, you guys, built in. Um, it's just a solidly well built trailer. You got the trailer brakes on it. If it disconnects, uh something bad happens, it will, that battery will automatically lock these wheels up. I mean most trailers these days have it. I don't know if Stan's does. Stan's doesn't, but oh you got a pencil hitch too. Yeah, I, I prefer pencil hitches. I got I'm a visual guy. I just want to see my solid connection. I know you've got your connection and it's rock solid, but to me, I like to feel it and I like to see it at the same time. And that's the, the flexibility of a pintle hitch. I can just look at it. Right, I mean, a lot of construction guys use that too. I just don't, I'm solid, I don't need, I don't right. need to worry. Right, unless you guys, they use the Demco and talking to the guy at Proven Industries, Proven Lock, uh, he's saying Demcos are some of the best. Basically, all you gotta do, it, it's locked in right now, but just flip that latch, flip it back over, and it's locked and it's ready to go. That's an option though, right? Uh, no, PJ came with it. Really? Yeah, PJ. Dude, PJ puts like nice things on, like the nice axles. You know, you're not getting no name axles, you're getting the Dexters. Um, we got a winch mount up there if we wanted to mount a winch to it. Uh, but this trailer tracks nice. You should drive it. I'll let you drive it. I it just, just tracks really I didn't nice. Follow you, so. Yeah, didn't it track nice? Not a lot of bounce, just. No, very nice. Yeah, it was just good. So, um, but that's it, you guys. So, this is my PJ trailer. This is, uh, we got the rub rails. I love rub rails because usually you're just going to get the stake pockets. Yep. But this actually has the rub rail so you can do things like this, right? If you're supposed to actually do something like that. You know what? The jury's out on that. I've seen it. I've seen videos on it. People are like, yeah, use the rub rail. People are like, oh my God, no, don't use the rub rail. You know, um, it's a big, thick piece of steel and it's welded in. So I'm going to, honestly, unless I had a huge cat on here or something, caterpillar. Yeah, but Dan, okay. you also like to chain your stuff down a little interesting too. Look how it's at the front. What? Well, what's wrong <laughs> with that? Hey, man, it's the winch is built in, so why not? I'm not saying anything. What? You don't think that's nice? I would, guess, I would guess a trooper would look at that and shake their head. If they're having a good day, they'll let you go. If they're having a bad day. Okay, let's recap this. Dude, we went 20 minutes from my house on a small little road to this place, right? Granted, if I was going to your if I was going on the highway and troopers were involved, this would have four points. Each vehicle would have four points because that's the law. That's not the point of this video. You know what? There's a lot worse going on out in this world than that, but we I guess we're supposed to set the example. So yeah, so what don't look at my way I haul these these down with chains. I would have strapped all four corners on both vehicles. Did you bring but, pack, yep, yep. So, all right, guys. Another thing I'll show you guys that's real cool is the speed binders. Hold on. I'll show you. And the deck. This is like my ultimate tow setup. I'm really happy with it. So we just pull this out. Oh, socket fell off. And then these are speed binders, you guys. Basically, to tighten up the chains, usually you have to hand ratchet them. And this, you just use a little 14 millimeter socket, put it in reverse. All right, I'll show them so you can. Okay. You guys ready? This is the best part. Look how fast that was. And I'm free. Yeah. And it binds up the same speed. It's the right. most amazing. And you could torque this drill if it's on high. If I put it in low, I'll get more torque on it. You know, if I really needed to crank something down. So yeah, how much you want to torque it down depending on how well, how good your impact is. Right. Right. So, dude, you guys, this trailer. One thing, guys, I have noticed about Dan is he always grabs the camera when it's about time to start loading or unloading or hooking or unhooking. The when work starts. When <laughs> yeah. the work starts. It's in the corner. Yeah. Looking really busy doing TikToks or Instagram. Which, guys, he needs a little help on TikTok and Instagram. If you could go follow I know. Him. I know you guys are watching on YouTube. 
man, if you could just give them a little bonus love on Instagram or TikTok, it'd go a long way. You know, seriously though, guys, if you do appreciate videos where he takes the time to do a walk around, tries to explain things as much as he can, give him a big like. Man, that goes, honestly, for us content creators, it goes a long way, so. Thanks, Stanley. Yeah, man. Wow, thanks, Stanley. That means a lot coming from Stanley. Well, I mean, you guys, we put, we started working weeks ago on the concept and how we did it then we had to coordinate all this you had to put this reserve this yard for these guys for today so we could shoot the next videos there's so much stuff that when they see a 10 or a 15 minute video they don't realize there's about 30 or 40 actual literal hours of work right involved in a 10 minute video. like we're gonna be here all day till sunset it's probably about 11 a.m so, if you guys want to see some more cool videos, we are going to be putting a Cub Cadet Challenger up against the Gravely Atlas. It's not going to be a battle, it's just going to be a compare and contrast so you guys know when you're out Mark, you know, shopping for your own, what kind, of, what kind of options do you want? What kind of options don't you need? We're also going to be doing one on this micro TLB. World's smallest TLB, I think. Uh, we don't know that. We don't sure. know that, but I think it is. Dan likes to call it that, so we like to humor Dan. So we're going to be doing that too. So you know what? Hit that subscribe button. That goes a long way, and you'll catch all these videos as they come out. Sweet. All right, you just keep going. Dude, do we need to put all those away? We're loading back up. Why not just throw them on the ground? Uh, I just prefer to do it like that. Okay, no, dude, I mean, I'm just asking. You're the expert, dude. This guy has years. If you guys know Stanley, you know his channel. Of course you do. I mean, this guy's got years of experience. Although I did show him for the first time today the speed binders. Are you loving speed binders? I am loving speed binders. Thanks, James. James Rolls Vlogs. James and Rolls Vlogs. You know, I was thinking about James. If you guys aren't familiar with him, which you may not be, he, he's got, his channel's got a lot of construction equipment, cool uh, stuff like that. But every now and then he throws in some weird animal videos. Yeah. Kind of like somebody else I know. Yeah. James. Yeah, exactly, right? Quit. And that's their two biggest videos. Quit copying me, James. Quit copying me. Stan likes birds. Stan He's a like, good guy, James. Yeah, Stan <laughs> likes birds lately. I like all animals. I don't think no, I, I like an animal. animals. I don't think I met an animal I like. Either like to pet them or eat them. Dude, even my fat cat came up to you, man. It was just like totally friendly fat with you. Fat cat it. won't leave me alone. I know, and Smooch. the fat cat likes nobody. Smoochie is Mookie. Smoochie. Is her name Smoochie? Her name's Smoochie. Smoochie. Get it right. She changed her name yesterday. It's Mookalias. Smoochie. Just call her Smoochie. Dan loves it when you rename his pets. Yeah. All right, you guys, so this is it. This is the TLB. This is the M, or the, uh, what the hell is this thing? BX23. So, all right, you guys, let's wrap up the PJ trailer video. Thanks to PJ. Thanks to Night Equipment. If you're looking for trailers, talk to them. Uh, PJ has a great lineup. Hopefully, we're going to get our hands on some more and just show you guys. But for... PJ, PJ's, my understanding, uses a um, factory setting. So, all of these are actually in, like, a... A line. A jig? Uh, no, so so these uh, trailers go through, is my understanding, they're not like handcrafted or handmade. Production they're line. They're actually on a, on a production line, a factory line. So, right. Um, it's just the way they do things. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just one of those things you guys might want to know. There's other trailer companies that do things differently, so how they manufacture might be something that interests you guys. Yeah. I know, dude. I want to... Yeah, and actually, Stanley has some trailer videos. Go check those out over there. Um, you did the big PJ dump with us, too, didn't you? Did you review that trailer? I did uh, Texas Prot. But didn't you do the big dump we had, too? I did review the big dump we had. Okay. Years and years ago. Yeah, so much has changed. The technology's changed. The processes have improved. So... It's good to get fresh content. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you what, man, rub rails are huge. And like I said, my only biggest complaint with this is the ramp on the back. I wish I would have done the ramp on the back, but in this scenario, that would have been bad because then we would have been making two trips. So it was awesome for this scenario. So if you're looking to maximize your load on your trailer, you don't definitely just want the ramps that come out the back. If you're looking to frequently use it, run equipment up and down it a lot, go for the built-in ramp for I sure if people would be interested in seeing what the different options are for flatbed trailers because there's tilt deck trailers oh yeah um and the thing that sucks about tilt deck is that if this was a tilt deck we'd only be able to get one piece of equipment on bingo 
Bingo, you know? Bingo. And I don't understand the advantages of tilt deck trailers, honestly. Yeah. I just don't. I don't either. You're using battery. You're using, I mean. I don't get it myself. For one piece of equipment that's the same equipment on and off all day, I see it, but. All right, you guys, let's pull, let's pull this stuff off of here. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.